IGN recently released an article going in depth about some campaign details, talking about Jigger Redumni, the Silent Shadow, and how boss fights will work in Halo Infinite. Do you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So IGN continuing on their exclusive news coverage of Halo Infinite for the month of November. They gave us a little bit of an article talking about the campaign, a little bit about Jigger Redumni and some boss information about how they will kind of play out as in Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. The creepiest and most disturbing character that has been in Halo. That's how 343 describes the character of Jigga Redumni. You know that psychotic looking badass elite dual wielding plasma swords? Yeah, that guy. Well, IGN does a little bit of a deep dive into this character alone to kind of give you an example of what boss battles are going to play like and how these characters are going to be within the world of Halo with some rather insightful things. Franchise narrative writer Jeff Easterling said about the character of saying, We wanted to build a character up to be more like a kind of subtle sidekick to Ashram. They have a close relationship. They've worked together the longest. Jega is the most respected soldier and his close friend. The entire group of the Spartan Killers is a showcase of the Banished's power. Not only are they furthering the cause of the Banished, they are also inspiring all the troops that are are beneath them as well. Jigger Redumni is a member of the Silent Shadow, which if you're not well versed in the extended lore of Halo, the Silent Shadow was a unit of special operations saying Healy within the Covenant, and the Silent Shadow was made up of several individuals. The Silent Shadow were often dispatched by Hierarchs when they wanted to remove a high ranking commander from their post. So the Silent Shadow are a group of extremely high skilled, very lethal Sanghealy, and I think we're gonna get the one guy from that group of Jega Redumni, though the group of the Silent Shadow would eventually join in with the Banished as well. To get a better mindset of who Jega Redumni is and what his purpose and motivations are, Jeff Easterly says that in one of the secret missions that he ran left him in the state we see him right now, where his lust for battle and vengeance completely outweighs even his own pride in his own culture. Which I certainly do get that feel from Jega because this guy, like when I watched the video of him, like kind of fade into existence, right? It, it's very spooky. This guy kind of creeps me out. Like I'm actually like not looking forward to fighting against this guy because it's just like, he just gotta go invisible. He's very spooky. It's very dark. It's gonna mess with my mind, but it's gonna be a hell of an intense experience. Jeff Easterling goes on and saying that He's kind of like the inverse Arbiter in a way, where we know that the Arbiter takes the high road, right, and does what's noble and what's right, but what if there was an elite that did the exact opposite, like Jager Redemni? So just making that comparison alone with the Arbiter and Jager Redemni kind of makes them feel like they're kind of equals, just went different paths. Now some details about the gameplay experience when it comes to playing against these Spartan killers and specifically Jager Redumni, they talk about if there's going to be any kind of unique AI written in for these boss encounters, so it's not just like the same thing as a regular elite, but just, you know, has more health or something like that. Uh, they say here specifically, you take the base character and then you add personality, which to me, when I hear that, I feel like it means that 343 is putting more emphasis on mechanics and unique gameplay rather than just being harder to kill though it certainly seems like that's also gonna be part of it that the higher health as we did see with that campaign gameplay that there is that little bit of a health bar and a shield bar as well above the boss like character but you can see in the gameplay that the shield actually gets taken out pretty quickly like a single plasma grenade takes about half the shield down though i do expect these boss battles to be much more engaging as you do have to put in more damage on what looks to be a brute what looks to be a lead maybe even a grunt we don't know please let there be a grunt spartan killer please Though we already have a bit of an example of how these mechanics will be different as we saw with the campaign gameplay that the Brute had a bit of a jetpack feature along with them. They might have some extra kind of thing with them as well when it comes to gameplay mechanics. Obviously, Jake Redemnite looks to be kind of a more of like a melee stealth kind of guy you have to fight against as well. So it looks like there are going to be some differences. We do know about Tavares who has a bit of a scrap cannon. That would be a different kind of mechanic to fight against. And also Hyperius who has a hammer and Spartan fingers around his neck and also Locks helmet on his shoulder pad as well. So 
I think they're gonna try to mix up the gameplay a little bit with these boss battles so it's not so copy and paste like Halo 5's literally was. Though there is no word if the Silent Shadow as a whole are gonna be part of Halo Infinite or if it's just Jacob Redumni. It would be kind of sweet. I know a lot of people have talked about within the community about say like when Nightfall happens on Zeta Halo, that's when like the Silent Shadow come up to kind of creep around and try to hunt you down. Again, that's a fan theory. That's nothing concrete or actual, but it's something that would be pretty dang cool. And 343 did say that they do plan to have different kind of gameplay elements between night and day just to mix up the gameplay experience for between night and day 343 did mention that they're gonna add more like bioluminescent animals and plants and things like that within the world during nighttime just because it looks cool but gameplay wise will we see a little bit of a difference maybe some different types of patrols maybe the silent shadow in there as well Maybe nighttime might be a little bit more dangerous of you to kind of go around your time through Zeta Halo, but you just have to wait and see how the gameplay plays out. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. Got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.